This is the Kiesel Zeus 7X. Maybe the most beautiful guitar I have ever owned. With a stunning translucent aqua burst finish over poplar burl top. With beryllium bridge and all sword neck pickup and royal ebony fretboard. Does it sound as good as she looks? Let's find out! Hello everybody, my name is Leo and in this video, first of all, we will hear the Kiesel Zeus in action with a demo song that, by the way, I'm sure is not the one you would expect from a 7 string guitar. Then we will describe the guitar in details then we will hear more sounds in the dedicated section of this video and finally, as usually, I will give you my two cents. So I hope you enjoy and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell as it would really help me to make more videos like this. Let's start! Let's now describe the guitar. Before proceeding, let me say that if you want a Kiesel guitar, you have to place an order through the Kiesel website. I mean, these guitars are not distributed by regular guitar shops like Toman or Sweetwater. Furthermore, this is a second-hand guitar and therefore its characteristics are not exactly the ones I would have chosen. But while describing the guitar, I will also try to explain the things I would change. First of all, this is a 7 strings headless guitar that allows this guitar to be smaller and lighter than other 7 strings guitars. It has a maple neck with the beautiful royal ebony fretboard. The neck is pretty thin with the 20 inches radius. That is really a joy to play. The body is swamp ash with antique ash treatment that provides us with this beautiful look and contrast, if you notice, between the body and the top of the guitar. The body is chambered and this contributes the guitar to be lighter and pretty resonant. The finish of the neck is satin, while the finish of the guitar is 
gloss. It has a translucent aqua burst finish over a poplar burl top, which is amazing. It uh, honestly looks fantastic. The pickup are custom made by Kiesel. More specifically, we have a beryllium bridge and an Oswald neck pickup. Now, if you look at the Kiesel website, you notice that the main unbuckled pickups are the so called lithium, which is an Alnico 5, described as a versatile pickup with excellent balance between power and clarity, and the beryllium, which is an Alnico 2 pickup that should provide a classic voice, I would say a more vintage tone. Then we have the artist pickups. And the neck pickup of this guitar has been designed with Alan Oswald, and it is a Lanico 5 described as a modern pickup which provides clarity, focus, and articulation. Now, here I really love the Bridge Beryllium pickup, which really sounds amazing combined with this guitar body and neck. It has a lot of sustain, the right amount of clarity and roundness. I think it is one of the best sound I was able to get from a bridge pickup among all the guitars I have. On the other hand, I'm not so in love so far with the neck pickup. I think it is not so balanced with the bridge pickup and it lacks the clarity I like from a neck pickup, actually. Don't get me wrong, it sounds good, but well, it is not one of my favorite where the bridge pickup sounds stunning and it is just perfect, I think, for this guitar. Let's now continue describing the guitar. It has abalone in lays, which are nice, but really hard to see. Then it has Evo Gold Medium Jumbo frets, which are 0.48 by 103 inches, which actually I really love. And finally, we have metal knobs with abalon inlays. Very nice looking and very nice companion of the top of the guitar. So I think I have described the most important features in my opinion of this guitar. Let's now hear some more sounds. <laughs>
Final consideration here, and please notice that these are gonna be my personal opinions, and you may not agree with me, and this is totally fine. Now, I have purchased this guitar uh, wanting to add a 7 strings guitar to my collection. My initial intention was to buy an Ibanez 7 string or a Stramberg, but then this beauty appears on reverb as a second hand occasion, and it was so beautiful that I couldn't resist. I have to say that this is finally one of the best guitar I own. It is so nice <laughs> that uh, I now also want a six string version. It feels and plays beautifully with lot of dynamics. It is light even if it is a seven string. It is well balanced even if it is an headless guitar. And of course it looks amazing. The bridge pickup is a surprise for me as it really sounds very very good. I expect it to be a metal oriented guitar, but as I wish has been highlighted by the demo song, it is pretty versatile. And both the clean and distorted sounds are lovely. And you can play basically everything with her. And in fact, actually, I didn't want a seven string for metal, but actually in order to have more possibilities with clean tones. In fact, you can really add a lot of spice and more articulation to your comping part using the low B string, especially using the low D, C and B, as you may have noticed here in the demo song. Now, I'm still learning how to use this 7 string and so far it has not been an easy task at all. I mean, this one more string really mess up your visual and muscle memory and I had almost to relearn playing. At the beginning I was especially messing up uh, the A and D strings as your visual memory makes you believe that these are D and G. <laughs> Nevertheless it is also something very refreshing and that allows you to be creative as missing your reference points, you are obliged to have a more fresh approach with the guitar. Coming back to the review, I have just a few complaints. The first one is the position of the volume knob, that is too close to the bridge, so it is very hard to make the violin effect with your pinky finger. I typically don't use volume pedals and I just use the volume knob a lot that allows me to be more connected with the guitar and this volume knob position is pretty uncomfortable for me. Actually this is the same problem I encountered with the Stramberg Fusion and that I have reviewed in my channel by the way. It's like modern guitar builders don't want me to use the volume knob comfortably. And actually this proves how visionary was Leo Fender as the strat is so perfect, even as regards knob positions. The second cons I would mention is that the tuner thumb screw are pretty close to the wood of the guitar and therefore when you turn them to tune the guitar you actually also move the bridge, changing the pitch. I mean, I typically turn the tuner hearing where to stop, but here you have to turn to move away your hand and then to hear if the string is tuned. That is something not very comfortable. And in fact, this may be the reason 
why the Strandberg or the Kieselwader are actually empty under the tuners. So these were my final two cents and now I'm pretty curious to know your opinions about this unique guitar. What do you think about her? Are you planning to buy one? Which are the pros and cons in your opinion? Have you ever used a 7 string? How was your journey learning to play it? Please let me know your precious and valuable opinion in the comment section below. We have now reached the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed and if you did it, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and leave a thumbs up, it would be of a great help. If you are interested in my IRs or in my camper profiles, you can check out the link in the card above or description below, where there is also a link to a playlist of songs of mine. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video, bye bye.